everybody, welcome back. Um, this is Gina. I'm here again today to show you the last project for the Christmas in July 2019, which is hosted by Dawn H. Creates on YouTube channel. Um, I want to thank Dawn for doing this. This really did motivate me to, um, you know, to get involved and really try to get ahead of the game this year because I'm always, always lacking um, and falling behind on these things. Um, every time Christmas rolls around, I think, oh, I want to do something, and before you know it, it's come and gone. So, you know, just, you know, for anybody out there that's thinking about it, when you get the opportunities, just jump in. Jump into these things because that's what I've started doing and I'm so glad that I was involved in this. It's, it's, I've been introduced to some um, new crafters here on YouTube, which is always great. Um, there's so much wonderful talent out there. And it's nice when you um, can find some new people that uh, are interested in the same things that you are. So anyways, enough of my rambling. Today, um, our challenge was a rustic Christmas. So... I hope that this is reflective of that. This is my first attempt at this. Um, it's not perfect, but I'm still very happy with how it's come out. Um, so this is my little uh, heart ornament for um, the Christmas tree. Uh, it was so simple to make. I've been wanting to do this again. Um, just one of those things that just got always pushed to the back, you know, of my list. And then... When this came up, I thought, oh, you know what, heck with it, I'm going to do it. And I did. So um, if anybody's, you know, thinking they'd like to do this, it's so simple. I just made a, like a, uh, I drew out a heart, a very primitive heart um, pattern. And then I just took some of my scrap paper. You can see this is just very, um, you know, uh, I'd say it's kind of a non-traditional um, pattern. Uh, it's not Christmas, obviously, but I love the colors because the greens, and then, like I said, I every now and then I'll pull out some blues. This is a bit more shabby, chic, rustic um, than I normally do a tree with, but this year I'm going to put a small tree in the bedroom, and I, I'm going to cover it with these kind of uh, ornaments because I am going to be making more of these. It was so much fun to just... Um, do something that you know is away from work related and just um, just have fun with it so after I cut out the pattern I stuffed it with the batting stitched it you know and it it's I've just stitched on the outside like I said it's it's supposed to be very rustic which is great because that's all I can do at the moment <laughs> I can't do anything very finished. Um, and then I just added little bits and pieces from my stash. There's a bit of cheesecloth back here. I stamped this image onto muslin, backed it onto some more of the coordinating fabric that was left over. And then there's a little bit of canvas, um, uh, just a little bit of canvas back there. Just bits and pieces and then an old button that it's had a little bit of um, linen thread put through it. So you can see in just a little bit of that um, Hobby Lobby leaf trim that we've all got. Some seam binding that's been tea dyed. And then I just made the little um, string so that this can be hung. And I stitched that within it so it's secure. Um, so there it is, guys. That's my um, project for the Rustic Christmas. I hope that you've enjoyed this. Um, thank you all so much for following along on this. Um, event. It's been awesome and I appreciate so much you guys taking the time to watch um, to support the other members in this and um, I hope you guys have a great rest of the weekend and I will see you here soon. Bye!